And I never feel like, ironically enough, I never feel like streaming for an hour at night is worth it, even though streaming for an hour and a half in the morning is totally worth it to me. Um, and that's entirely due to the fact that they're completely different goals, right? Like if I'm streaming for an hour, I might only get to play 40 minutes of the game or whatever, and that feels a lot shorter. And Dwarf Horde, I think, it really benefits from, you know, a solid three, four hour session to, to really get in and uh, get things going. So Everthrow in general is uh, doing pretty darn well. Um, we did send some dwarves off and they got uh, captured by one of the other places and I'd like to resolve that. Um, but one of the things that has always been kind of like a like a, th a tier three kind of concern for me and something I don't put a whole lot of time into our defenses for the fort and, and making it a ingenious kind of pretty defense for the fort. So early on we created a um, a water reservoir to wash our enemies out into the river and and in theory that would work uh, but we haven't actually had to test it yet. Um, and I think what I'd like to do today is potentially set up a lava fountain. So it'll pump lava up uh, and then it'll go down some track and then go back into the earth and be reusable in that sense. So it's gonna take a little while to set up, but that's, that's where I'm starting from today. And uh, if we end up doing some more conquesting, that's fine. Um, I am curious as to why we're not getting attacked more. Like, I feel like this this area has got plenty of undead to attack us with, so I don't know why we're only facing off against weird creatures, but who knows? I apologize. I keep on hitting my microphone. I need to drink from the edge of my tea. So anyways, that's the plan. Like I said, this second week of work was better, so I'm looking forward to uh, seeing what uh, next week brings. I think it'll be good. Friday officially starts Stories on Fire. Good timing there, Darth. You've scheduled for Stories on Fire. Excellent. So on Friday, I'll be streaming uh, my regular morning stream and... Uh, doing that and then I won't be streaming Saturday or Sunday but I should be able to stream the following week Monday through Friday and then we'll see after that um, my plan is to still write the story a day so even on the days I'm not streaming I'll uh, I'll be writing so yeah and if you succeed with your writing if you succeed with your short stories come over here let me know and I'll uh, hit that woohoo button for you and uh, What's your schedule going to be for Stories on Fire, Darth? That's another thing I wanted to check before we began here. Friday and Sundays, nine streams, you were aiming for 10, but you didn't want to force yourself. Last time you did five. All right, excellent. All right, looks like we're about to start ads, so I will start o opening up the, uh, the game here and, and uh, get things going. It's not registering any viewers, so I don't know if anybody's here yet. 
Looks like there are some people. Anyways, we'll give you a shout out for now. If I can spell your name. And uh, yeah, we're in an ad, so we'll just load up the game and then we'll wait until the ad's done. So in Adelina, the Wondrous Land, we have Everthrow, early summer of 517. This fort's 10 years old at this point. You're very welcome. Spinnable thread. Also, sheer creatures. Okay. Need some minecarts. We have KV pups that we need to take care of. Wild boar piglets. All right, welcome back, everybody. We're just doing some cleanup here before we get started. Apparently, some cavies have been born, so we need to take care of those before they become a problem. I don't see them though. Maybe we already took care of them. So that's that one. That's the. So we have the male and female. I don't see the babies though. Maybe we already took care of them. Should be down here at the bottom. All right. I guess it's fine. All right. Let's do a quick f tour of the fort. So like I said, this this area up here is very sparse, right? Like we don't really have anything built. Um. And that's going to be part of my goal today. Apparently we just have a whole bunch of steel equipment out here. You know, steel equipment just is the best in the game. You should just leave it there out in the open. It's fine. Uh, so yeah, we have our surface. We have our waterfall that goes down 30 Z levels. We have a bridge that some people actually use. We have this random thing over here to save a goose that we did save. We saved the goose. Um, never fear. Going down, we have our main entrance, which is lackluster, let's be honest. Um, and then we have our alternate entrance for our enemies. Um, and like I said, we have this water reservoir over here. And uh, this, this is the alternate entrance that people go through. Uh, basically, we close off uh, this, we open up these, we open up that, and the water goes whoosh and hopefully knocks people off into the river, you know, 20 levels below. Um, we have our manager's office here. We have our various weir creatures. We've added a new one. We now have a weir llama. Congratulations, me. Uh, we really need to move this, this, um, this hospital elsewhere. Like, I gotta admit, we're down to, what, three beds that are accessible? Um, and it's kind of tight in there. So, like, we really should move that, but eh, it's low on the priority. Uh, we have our Doctor's Guild, our tombs, and our slabs over here. We have a rather uh, illustrious uh, tavern up here with some farming going on. Uh, and a toy stockpile, as all good taverns should have. Uh, we have two and three level apartment buildings for our dwarves to live in. Uh, and they go up and down the levels here. We have our stone crafters guild. We have 
a woodworkers guild, a rangers guild, our mayor's office and dining room. Going down we have our metal metalsmiths guild and this is our uh, metal and glass forging area. Um, it was something that we really took a long time setting up but now it's all set up including some quantum stockpiles to just kind of keep things clean. Um, we have our last, or not, uh, not our last, our second to last weir moose over here. Um, this is a craft store skill. Yeah. Uh, a general temple, a general library, which is quite uh, full now. It's got 157 written objects in there, so we really need to expand our writing material so that our scribes can start doing some work. We should probably appoint a few more scholars too. Um, hmm. How about Aesob? Yeah, free lo overlay for Stories on Fire? Excellent. I will check it out. Yeah, I haven't set up anything special for Stories on Fire as far as that goes. Um, oh, okay. I was like, why is that dwarf just standing there? But I guess he's fine. Um, we have our clothing and leather industry up here, our farmer's workshops, our, our stone, um, stone workers and uh, mechanics over here. Our craft workshops are down a level over here. So they're a little far away from stone, but you know, we can craft dwarf out of a lot of things, so that's fine. Uh, we have our butchers and our tanners over here. Our lovely collection of chickens and ganders and guinea cocks and blue peacocks and turkeys and peahens and I think that's it. Oh, we also have a drake. Uh, we have pigs in here and then you'll see we have another, uh, oh, including some piglets. Aren't they cute? Uh, going down a level, we have our wild boar, including our wild boar piglets, also very cute. Um, our barracks, this is a farmer's guild. Yep. Um, our captain of the guards quarters, uh, dining hall, uh, office, and dungeon, which probably needs to be expanded upon, but that's fine. This is a dining hall for our noble who died. Um, rest in peace, Darth Torlin the uh, first. Darth Torlin the second is uh, still living, I believe. Yep, Craft Dwarf. Uh, we also have Blazing Rakadon, Freestab, and Neems the fort, uh, sixteenth rather, and Sailing Ocelot the scribe. And then basically going down, we just have more and more bedrooms. We've got some more areas dug out over here, which caused some minor cave-ins and some death. Um, but it's fine. And then you can see our lava sta our lava pump stack here. And like I said, we're going to be doing some, some stuff there. Uh, we have our power here, which I did want to check. Yeah, so if we're going to increase the the um, amount of pumps that we're going to use and we are going to use some pumps for the um, the uh, lava fountain we're going to need more power so that's going to be on our list too but luckily we have plenty of room to work with so we'll just do that so that'll be on our list today uh, we have some tombs for potential nobles but they're not actually claimed yet and uh, actually I disabled the zone so that nobody claims them by accident. And down, 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 we have our first cavern layer, which is where most of our animals are. Mostly shearable animals. Uh, we have way too many animals, to be honest, but that's okay. Um, and then down, 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 down. We have a miner's guild right here. That's a bedroom for, I think, it was supposed to be for um, a noble, but this wax worker claimed it, and I, I, it's fine. He could have it. Uh, 
This is just digging out some granite. That's a random dead macaque. Down, 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 down. Eventually we get to the last cavern layer. We never did find the second cavern layer. But that's okay. It's no requirement. And we have the third cavern layer. And then we have the magma sea. So yeah, that is our fort. And somewhere, I think over here, is a way into the underworld. Hey, Itanchi, how you doing? But we're not going to focus on the underworld today. Today is all about building magma pumps to the surface to make a wonderful lava fountain. Okay? So yeah, let's go ahead and unpause it. Uh, I did want to check on the barricaded creeds who just returned. Report Pillage Cruel Mountain. Some intense fighting. Hens fighting. Alright, so this is the problem, right? 290 animated goblins. That's weird. 290, but then it went down to 130. And we end up with 260? How does that work? <laughs> We get no spoils out of it. Oops. So yeah, we have six dwarves who are currently captured there. I love how it says population 10. Not including the thousands of the dead. Alright. So this is going to be a prolonged campaign against them. Uh, I did want to check... So that squad is just essentially dead. And how are we doing on equipment? Fair to Midland. All right. So let's um, send them in again. Pillage. I really only want to release captives. And we'll do that with both the barricaded um, barricaded creeds and the inky ropes. Good luck. Good luck. Hey, Itanchi. I don't remember if I said hi or not, so I'm just saying it again. Barricaded creeds. Oh no, we have a dwarf and child stumbling around obliviously. Can't be good. Do we have anyone in a strange mood that I'm not aware of? thinking about this. So, we already have this channel built to be able to go up, right? So we're going to need to dig out from here. Alright. 
digging time channel Looks good to me. Uh, actually, I don't want to channel. I want to just dig. Is that where I was looking at? Good enough. Dolomite blocks, I think the rest are fine. Rock blocks. Dolomite. Just like 20 of them. what I'm going to do is just kind of sneak this around. Actually, I don't even need to go that far down. Also going to want to have it feed back in. I thought we had a Metalsmith Hall a Guild. I'm confused. Aren't 
you a metalsmith guild? You are a metalsmith guild. Oh, but the value's gone down? Alright, fine. Maybe it never got to value and I just didn't notice. Exporting tables, people. Oh, shoot. I haven't found an aquifer anywhere in this map before, but now suddenly I do. Fine. suddenly why are they suddenly fighting all this time they haven't been fighting why are they fighting now <laughs> okay fine suddenly have uh, some real severe frame rate issues. Sarvesh has been found bled to death. Oh, well, that was from the We've got something going on. I have a feeling it's, um, shoot. Gotta be something in the. Hmm. Hey, Paul Harvey. In the caverns, maybe? The bad time for bad guys to show up. We don't have our military. Why did they suddenly fight? That's very weird. They haven't been fighting this whole time. Sorry, everybody. No one likes to kill puppies, but you know... Actually, we don't even have that many puppies, but still. don't think it's our animals that are the problem. I think there's got to be something lurking about that's causing problems. Oh my 
fragrance. Very sudden. Well, you know what? I didn't actually make it so that people could actually get there, huh? If they fought because there was that llama, the weird llama right nearby, and when it was just the two of them as weird creatures, it wasn't a problem. Or maybe it's the three eyed gigantic spider. What happened to the rest of its eyes? Uh, the Forgotten Beast Golgol Sutar has come, a gigantic three eyed spider. It has a knobby trunk and it squirms and fidgets. Beware, it's poisonous bite, and since it's a spider, we can probably guarantee that it's also a web spinner. So, I wonder, I mean, we have this whole thing set up to be able to do a um, forgotten beast trap here. Oh, of course, you're trapped out here. Darth, what are you doing? <sighs> Darth. <laughs> Darth, why are you collecting webs out here? Uh, labors, standing orders, uh, do not collect webs. Uh, yeah, let's reopen this door so you can get home. And then I need you to... Um, Go fast. I'd prefer it if you went faster. I don't know where this thing is, but please go faster. Anytime now. Darth, please get 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 back in there. Please. Quickly now. Take your time. Good. All right. Oh, I can't make it unpassable yet. There we go. All right. Where's where's our forgotten beast friend? Not far behind you. All right. Well, we hit an ad, so I'm gonna wait a minute here. <laughs> Stop nagging. I I don't want your second character to die. I felt bad about the first one.
This is fine. This is fine. And really the slowness was more the fact that my frame rate suddenly is tanking more than anything else. I am curious of what's causing it. Probably something in the caves that are causing problems, but since my entire military is away, I can't really do anything about it. Here we are with a 747 year old forgotten beast. I'm sure this will be fine. You're giggling now? Well, of course you're giggling. You're back safe now. <laughs> That's a good one, of Cheshire Pope. All right, here we go. Now, if there are things on this level that are hidden from me, hopefully we'll be able to find it by it going over and killing them. Hopefully it doesn't break down this door. Um, excuse me. Udib, what are you doing? Good time zone. What's up? I'm just, I'm just okay. Love you. Love Have you. a good day. Udib it was collecting webs, and unfortunately, Udib's going to die a horrible death. I, I, I'm very sorry about Udib. Y you must pray to Datan. You better pray to Datan because I don't think you're going to make it. Because although that forgotten beast is very happy to sit in front of that door. It's going to be very happy to go over and say, Hi, how are you? In just like two seconds. Go. Run away, Udib. Faster. Is, it seriously gonna get, is he seriously going to get away? She? Rather? singularly obsessed about this door. Alright. Well, we set up a successful um, path for a Forgotten Beast before. We can do it again, right? is out collecting webs. Thanks so much, Lore. Where did Udib end up? Udib's coming around. All right, let's 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 just open this door and see if people come out, huh? I mean, go back in, rather. It's fine. Collecting webs. There's donkey hair thread right here. You don't even have to go out there, people. just gonna lock that door um, and we're gonna go back what are you doing collecting webs I canceled that but sure it's fine 
Did we get through this yet? Or did we get stopped because of the water again? Stopped because of the water again. Gosh darn it. Also, let's just smooth all this. It's not going to stop it completely, but it'll do something, right? Did my frame rank tank? I don't know. It went away. That's very weird. Very weird. Ukar. Oh, uh, you are no longer in the military. Thank you. It's like, why is this taking so long? Uh, because couldn't actually go. That's why. is dead. <sighs> Alright, so we open that up. Let's put some doors in, see if we can trap this darn thing so I can stop worrying about it. And our military did return, so if nothing else we can at least potentially do that. Uh, they left on the 25th of Hematite. down 286 219 again Woohoo Darth, you landed. Oh, oops. I 
I of course sent the the <laughs> military off again while I still have this forgotten beast here. Eventually, I'll remember that there's a big threat right there, and and I'll actually do something about it. In theory, maybe. Zahn the Miller decided that this was a be, be a great time to go pick up the uh, stuff that this dwarf child left behind and is promptly going to die. Oh, good. We have more people. Excellent. I'm so glad you people are so industrious about cleaning up a mess and picking up equipment and storing item in bins. You're all going to die. You know that, right? 